Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Such a beautiful engine. Makes such a beautiful noise. But guess what noise we don't want? We don't want that good old fashioned rod knocking sound. So today, uh, to clear up that issue, we are going to be swapping the rod bearings in this thing. Um, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. We're gonna roll the intro and we're gonna get to it. We got a lot of stuff to do today. Now turn up. So, uh, first things first, rod bearings. Why am I doing them? Well, rod bearings are very common issues in um, S62, S54, S65, S85. I don't know what BMW is thinking, but um, thank God nowadays we have you know new and improved technology. We have WPC treated bearings, which I have uh, for this engine and uh, they last a hell of a lot longer. I've already done the rod bearings in the S62 car over here when I very first got the engine. Uh, it was the first big thing because that's the thing to go. Um, so why am I doing rod bearings in this? Well, first of all, I wanna be able to sleep at night knowing that my huge investment um, is not gonna come apart on the highway uh, like my M20 stroker did. Um, Second of all, I haven't seen really any rod bearing issues on the or rod bearing videos on the S62 on YouTube. Um, there's a couple videos that already show the bottom end taken apart, and then the bearings, you know, they're like, oh, it's really worn right here, and then that's it. So I want to give you guys a really nice time lapse of disassembling the engine still together. Um, the only thing that I have taken off the engine was the AC compressor, and obviously the plenum, which you can't see. Um, so we're going to drain the oil, flip the engine over, and we're gonna take off the lower and upper pans, the oil pump, and the bearing should be right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick time lapse, and then we'll talk about what we find, all right? All right. Have a nice little blood trail going all the way over here and there's still probably a half quart of oil left in the pan in this section uh, it hides in these nice little cracks and crevices everywhere so here's my dirty unorganized workspace i have my two scavenging pumps the sprocket uh pickup tube return tube uh i think that is a uh stops the oil from sloshing around so the pickup can grab it um in a huge oil pump. That thing's massive. Uh, of course, everything's labeled because uh, everything's a different size. So, and uh, you probably saw me messing with these uh, in that first time lapse, and I'll show you why. I found that. It was sticking up out of the oil, and uh, I was like, well, that's not a bolt. So, any guesses on what that could be? I'll put a picture of it up here, and uh, maybe you could 
see if you were right. If you were, give yourself a nice little pat on the back. But that is an oil squirter or an oil sprayer. And uh, it goes right here. So see that guy? Well, let me get my flashlight out here for you. See that guy right there, that tube? That sprays oil up into the cylinder to cool the bottom of the piston down. And it broke off on this side. So my big question is, why did it break off? Everybody else is intact. Uh, and it made its way all the way from back here, all the way to the front of the motor. Um, yeah, so that kind of worries me why it broke. So I'm gonna order a new one and my idiot self did not order the lower gasket for the small pan right here. So I have that on order as well. Um, it'll be a while before I get it. Said that it was back ordered until the 12th of December. So in the meantime, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these bearings gone or uh, bearings done. So stand by for time lapse. Okay, so I got the lighting rigged up here so you guys can all see this. I accidentally um, pulled them in order. So I pulled, 
I went this one, this one, this one, you know, straight down the row here. And I forgot this is a straight bank motor. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And totally forgot. Anyway, the reason I separated these like this is because um, you can see these are all upper bearings. These are all the lower bearings. Little tiny bit of wear on the number one uh, lower, which is a bit odd because none of them else in the front have wear. Um, these here for, for bottom end aren't too terribly bad for 88,000 miles. That was on cylinder uh, six, I think. No, seven. That was, that was bad. This is, or no, that is six. Yeah, cylinder six right here. That was horrible. Uh, that would have definitely uh, exited the block at some point. So new bearings are in. These are just terrible condition in the back here. So these two cylinders definitely um, got a little warm, I think. Just really worn. So the new ones are in. That's all that matters. And I got to wait for the oiler to get here. So what I can tell you about this is that it's about 4,000 times easier than inside the car. Way easier to do bearings when the engine's upside down on a stand and you have all this room around here to do whatever you want. Um, on that note, I have to leave the bottom of the engine open for now. Uh, I'm going to put the oil pan on in a later video. Uh, the oil, the oiler, the oil sprayer, the oil squirter, whatever you want to call it back here on cylinder four uh, that got crushed. Uh, that you guys saw earlier in the video that's on back order and I also need the lower gasket uh, for the lower pan and they're gonna ship at the same time so uh, I gotta wait till about mid-December for that it's not a big deal I'll just you know work on the rear brake setup or uh, get the rest of the suspension going uh, next video I'm gonna cover the uh, tensioner for the timing chain that's pretty straightforward expensive this is expensive um all my money goes to this engine so uh i eat ramen every day i'm just kidding i don't do that um <clears throat> so but seriously a lot of my money does go to this engine because these are very expensive engines uh not only to swap but for maintenance in general the e39 m5 guys know what i'm talking about uh these engines are amazing when they work and a pain in the ass when they don't and they're very uh, you gotta have some deep pockets for these things unless you know where to get parts from so with that being said i will uh I'll, uh I'll go ahead and say my farewells and i will see you guys next week so remember to stay awesome be awesome and do awesome okay enjoy your weekend have a good time see you guys later Oh, that's recording. Well, well, you guys got to hear that. That was cool. <laughs>